Hello, Ian, Mikatel, March Rogers, and the Microsoft Whiteboard team. Loving Microsoft Whiteboard, really enjoying using it. One of the use cases that I've been um, using it with team members and within presentations is that sometimes we have the whiteboard um, available for everyone to see up on the projector. And uh, one person, of course, is projecting it from their computer. And uh, another person in our team is using the whiteboard from another device. And we can, of course, draw on it and show and display it up there on the screen. Now, uh, sometimes we want to be able to take that control and pass it off to uh, the other person, um, the other team member. And so they might draw on another piece of the whiteboard, but it still depends on the person connected to the projector to drag that content around. And so what I'd like to see is, is a capability of um, almost like taking control of someone's desktop. You are taking control of the whiteboard on the person who is presenting presenter roles so to speak and then you can guide and 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 drag and drop and and draw together um, but you are in control as the presenter and can take that canvas and and make it um, focus on where that drawing is so this is how i think it might work out i'll just show you now all right for the purpose of this um illustration i have got a, a laptop which is my presentation device i'm connected to a projector which is up here Okay, so um, as I move the mouse, as I drag things around here and draw, then of course it is, is up here. Uh, and you know I'm using finger painting method, so I've got to turn off the inking, and I can drag and do that around. Now over on another device, um, let's say this is another team member in the room, <clears throat> or maybe someone on a call, or someone remote that we're, we're trying to draw and collaborate together, but we want to be able to guide each other to where those drawings are. Um, I can of course take this pen and I can add to the drawing. All right, so we'll make this in red, la -de da da da, and that's all happening all the way up here. Very cool. Now, what if I wanted to um, swipe that drawing over here and try and illustrate something else, and say that these two people are connected? All right, so we've got that. I'm not seeing that over here on the screen, and that's my presentation device. So what we really need. Um, as a as a feature request is to be able to have something where I can take control and then as I um, guide that around then we're seeing this match the movements as I'm swiping over here on both devices so then the rest of the room can see as I'm taking control um, that I can drive and show now we can tap out here Let's double tap yep so that's going to show double tap Double tap again. Yeah, that's taking me out to see the whole canvas that's available. Um, so I could start, you know, drawing things through here and etc. etc. All right, so that's working. Um, that's one way to do it. Um, but I would like to see maybe um, like like that sort of drying way of I'm I'm the presenter now. I'm taking control. So as I swipe that around then this of course will move around with it. So that of course is one way that we could use the Microsoft Whiteboard for presenting, for working together across a phone call. Um, look I did work together yesterday with Owen Allen and I was showing him how to use Whiteboard. Um, he had it open up on his Surface Go, I had it open up on my iPad and we're collaborating on a document. But we were both using our mobile phones on a Teams call to, to talk and to um, use that as a video call. So two devices on either end, one for drawing on the whiteboard and one for, for communicating and talking. Um, so that feature, the feature request of being able to guide and drag and, and actually control what he sees um, as I take control would be quite cool. Um, let me let me know what you think in the comments below as the saying goes um, and I'll try and post this up on user voice. Cheers.